everyone, I'm Like a Warrior, aka Julie. Welcome to my channel. If you've stopped by because you love watching people unbox advent calendars, then you're in the right place and keep on watching. All right, I'm super excited. Advent calendar number two so far this year. I've only purchased three total and it will probably stay at three unless and until I see something else that catches my eye. This bad boy is from Lunar Beauty, which is Manny MUA's makeup line and I'm super excited. I did see his video announcing this, so there's a little bit of spoilers, but what is super cool is it's makeup and it's very different than any other type of advent calendar that I've ever seen before. All right, so this here is the outer shipping box. Inside, uh, <laughs> I did pick up a few extra items. This calendar was $50, which I thought was a good price. However, to get free shipping, I want to say you had to spend $75. Shipping was, I want to say 10 or 15. Anyways, yada yada. Hashtag justified. I picked up two lip products that put me at $85 even so I wouldn't have to pay for shipping and handling. I know. Look how beautiful they put a sticker with some uh, tissue paper on the outside. All right, so here is the actual advent calendar. Let me take the saran wrap off so you don't hear the crinkling. So this here is a 12 day advent calendar and this is what it looks like. If you're here because YouTube recommended this video, thank you, welcome. Feel free to give the video a like and subscribe while you're here. Uh, I'm going to assume most of you are watching this because you are already aware. So what makes this advent calendar different than others is, and I think this is genius, this calendar is 100% an eyeshadow palette. So down here, let me open it, it's going to be like a Z palette. And then each of the 12 days is going to be a different eyeshadow shade. On the outside packaging was this package here which has one additional shade in his video he mentioned one of the shades that was created by whoever puts together the formula he did not like it he sent it back and he got the shade he wanted however he sent it to us anyways so the outside of this packaging says hi loves please replace day nine Ooh, that's my birthday with this one instead so what got packaged up was what he didn't care for and then he sent along his preferred shadow. Okay, so this folds down and ooh, this has some weight to it. It does have his standard moon that's raised up. I don't know if it'll pick up on camera, but his packaging is always very beautiful. It says 12 days of lunar. Oh, it does come with a mirror. And I love how there's a little place for your finger. That way you can easily pick up the single shadow, move it around if you want to change up the order, swap it in or out with maybe a different palette. That is fantastic. And I love the shape. It's like a standard eyeshadow palette and not too big or square or just some different shape. All right, let's dive into day one. I also appreciate, and thank you, Manny, um, no blonde moments here. It goes one, two, three, four, etc. in order. So I won't be looking for day 10. All right, here is the box. What kind of shade do we get in day one? On his video, he shared three of the days. Do I remember? Now. Okay, so the single shadow does come in a plastic protector. This first shade is a beautiful gold shimmer. I'm gonna wait and swatch all of the shadows after I have unboxed all of them. Oh my goodness, I dropped the shadow, but the box itself is magnetic and it stuck to the side instead of hitting the floor. Thank you, Manny. All right, day two. All right, day two is this beautiful plum shade. All right, day three, we have another shimmer. This is a soft gold. It's similar, but not quite as dark as the first shimmery shadow. Here they are side by side. All right, day four, we have a beautiful medium warm brown. I'm super curious what the final palette color story will be like. So far to me, they're a little disparate with gold shimmers, a purple and a warm brown. 
Hopefully it will look good once it's all put together. Day five, you're gonna be another matte or a shimmer. And let me just tell you, the struggle is real with these little tiny plastic cases and the boxes. If you only knew how much time it took me in between me holding up the next day. Oh, okay, this shimmer shade is gorgeous right up my alley. I wanna swatch it now, but I will wait. All right, day six, we have a yellow, kind of a mustard ochre matte shade. All right, day seven is another shimmer. This is almost like a bronzy, more cool toned bronze shimmer shade. And thus far, it's gone every other day, shimmer, matte, shimmer, matte, shimmer. So I wonder if the trend's gonna continue on and this will be a 12 pound palette with six mattes and six shimmers. I guess I need to open day eight to see if that trend continues. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, day eight threw me for a loop. We have a matte grass green, Kelly green, I'm not sure. It's a very bright green, which is beautiful. Just, I'm very intrigued about this color story so far. All right, on to day nine, which is special for two reasons. One, it's my birthday, December 9th. And two, the most important one, is this is where Manny MUA was not satisfied with the shade and he provided an extra one. So let's see what originally came in the calendar and compare it with the one they sent as the extra better shade. Okay, so yes, the every other shimmer matte shimmer is happening. This is a beautiful greeny gold and this is the one he didn't like. This here is the one they sent on the outside of the packaging, which to me looks almost exactly the same. Let's hold them up next to each other and hopefully I can not mix them up. Okay, so here is the one he sent as a replacement and here is the original one. Um, <laughs> they look the same to me. All right. Just because I fear I may misplace them, I'm gonna swatch these two right now because I'm dying to know what is the difference. All right, so this one came in the calendar and this one was sent outside the calendar. I would say they are the same color, but what I think he wasn't happy with and what I'm picking up now that I'm moving my hand, I think the one he replaced it with has a better shift. I don't know, leave me a comment and let me know if you see any difference whatsoever. But hey, now I have an extra. All right, moving on to day 10. All right, day 10, we have a medium to soft, kind of a tan brown. All right, day 11 is another shimmer shade and it's a beautiful like dusty rose pink shade. Ooh, that one's calling my name. All right, in day 12, we have a black. It's always nice to have a black shadow in a palette. Can help you deepen up an eye look, mix it with something else, and just help to get that smoky eye look. All right, let me show you the completed palette. I put the eyeshadows in the order I unboxed them. So starting up here is day one, two, three, etc. This would be day seven, eight, nine, 10, and 11 through 12. What do you think? It's interesting on camera. It's not quite looking how it looks in person, but does it ever? Um, and it is a different and interesting color story. All right, here are the swatches. I decided to put all of the shimmer shades next to each other and then all of the matte shades. So. This is beautiful. The mattes are very, very pigmented. And look at those shimmers. Now my only comment, I don't want to call it a complaint, but in a perfect world, to me the mattes are all very dark. I wish there was a softer brown taupe, soft pink, something to use as a transition shade. Um, I, you could use these, you just have to go in with a very soft hand. But this is really exciting to me. It is a type of palette that will push me out of my comfort zone a little bit. I'm not one to wear mustard yellows. Um, and by the way, this kind of purple plum 
It did stain my um, pinky a little bit, so just keep that in mind. But I don't have any regrets. I know $50 for a palette is up there, particularly because his Nude Prison palette has 18 pans and retails, I want to say, for $48. But I love and enjoy doing advent calendars. I was super excited about this concept of giving a, a blank Z palette and then all of the shades for each of the days. So kudos Manny for being original. Before I end this video, I do wanna try out these lip glosses. I love the Lunar Beauty lip glosses. I did a mystery unboxing, oh, I don't know, earlier this year. Love the formulas. Do I know where either of those lip glosses are? I put them someplace and cannot find them. So I use that as an excuse to purchase some more. So I picked up this lip gloss in the shade Starlight. By the way, look how gorgeous this packaging is. When you open the box, there's a moon inside the box. It's this one here, which of course, do you know me? It's a pinky nude. That's what she looks like swatched. But who wants to look at a swatch when you can look at it on my face? But I'm gonna hold off because I first wanna try this other product, which is brand new. It is a lip oil, and I got it in the shade Love Me, which looks very red, very bright. But I saw the swatches, and it's a lip oil, so let's do this, and it's just going to sheer on out. Here is the swatch for the lip oil. Mmm, it smells fruity. Like strawberry, maybe? Beautiful, not sticky, not super thick. I don't like glosses or lip oils that are too thick. I'm loving it. And why not just stick a gloss on top of a lip oil because it probably won't work, but hey, let's give it a try. Right up my jam. Love the packaging, love the applicators, love the scents. By the way, this lip gloss has a vanilla birthday cake kind of a scent, whereas the lip oil is fruity. All right, leave me your thoughts, comments down below. What do you think of this palette? Do you like this color story? Or are you like some people I've heard are complaining they wish the color story uh, was closer to the packaging? Honestly, that doesn't bother me. He, he also mentioned that when he did his reveal video, so to the haters, um, personally for me, if a palette is very holiday specific, it limits or potentially limits when you can wear it. Um, I like that there's a variety of shades in this palette, but let me know your thoughts. Also, have you tried his lip products, um, to die for the lip oil is 18 and the lip gloss is 17. Also very affordable. All right. I want to thank each and every one of you for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. If you haven't done so by now, I would love if you would subscribe. For those who have, thank you so much. Remember to click that bell icon so you can be notified of future videos. And if you can do me a huge favor, clicking the thumbs up really does help with my channel to grow. All right, thanks everyone.